Hey everybody, this is Rex Bear with Week Project. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. What you are looking at is a CIA document that was approved for release. There was an enormous data dump of CIA files that essentially what happened was there was somebody that was doing a Freedom of Information Act one at a time, and it got to the point to where it wasn't cost-effective, I guess, supposedly is the official story, so they just allowed thousands and thousands and thousands of documents to be released. And you can go through these documents on the CIA's website. And a lot of them, especially when they get into some really juicy stuff, you'll see that there's going to be multiple blocks of text that are just completely blacked out. So, But this is, in my opinion, a really cool project that was done with the CIA. And it's, I'm going to go through it with you right now. So this was May 22nd, 1984. And what this was is a CIA, um, a CIA slash remote viewing experiment. If anybody has ever researched or studied remote viewing, if you've ever tried it yourself, it is amazingly accurate sometimes. And when you get to be a high-level remote viewer, you actually put yourself in the environment. So not only are you seeing it, you're feeling it, you're, tu you know, you're touching it, tasting it, smelling it, hearing it, seeing it, etc. All your senses are opening up. Now, this specific remote viewing session, I'm just going to read the entire session with you guys. Um, not only as the person doing the experiment, spearheading the experiment, but also the remote viewer. So the method of site acquisition, it was a sealed envelope coupled with geographic coordinates. And that's how a military-derived remote viewing session is done. The, the sealed envelope was given to the subject immediately prior to the interview. The envelope was not opened until after the interview. In the envelope was a 3x5 card with the following information. The planet Mars, the time of interest approximately, and here's the kicker. This was m 1 million years B.C. So the selected geographic coordinates provided by the parties requesting the information were verbally given to the subject during the interview. And you can see the numbers right here. So if you want to research this yourself, you can copy and paste the actual form number, put it in the search engine, and it will pull up. You can download the PDF file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the front screen I'm going to read it to you, and I'm going to give you kind of a reference point that some parts in this document describe certain areas that look like these images, in my opinion. So that's what the background is going to be for your viewing enjoyment. Okay. Five twenty-two, ten o nine a.m., nineteen eighty-four. There is the, I'm just going to call him the director and the subject. So, all right now, this is the director. All right now, using the information in the envelope, I've provided exclusively, focusing your attention now, using the information in the envelope, focus on 40.89 degrees north, 9.55 degrees west. Now, remember, this person does not know what planet. This person does not know what time. All this individual was given was an envelope that's sealed and coordinates, numbers. That's it. Here's the subject. This is what he sees. I want to say it looks like, uh, I don't know, it sort of looks, I kind of got an oblique view of a pyramid or a pyramid form. It's very high. It's kind of sitting in a large, depressed area. Director. All right. Subject. It's yellowish. Uh, ochre colored? All right. Move in time to the time indicated in the envelope. I provided you and describe what's happening. I'm tracking severe, severe clouds. More like dust storm. Uh, it's... It's a geological problem. Seems to be like a... Just a minute. 
I've got to iron this out. It's, it's really weird. Just report your raw perceptions at this time. You're still early in the session. I'm looking at, uh, at after effect of a major geological problem. Okay, go back to the time before the geological problem. Um, total difference. It's, uh, before there's, uh, I don't know, uh, hell. It's like mountains of dirt appear and then disappear. When you go before, see, uh, large flat surfaces, very, uh, smooth angles. Walls, they're really large though. I, I mean, they're megalithic. Ah, all right. At this period in time now, before the geological activity, look around in and around this area and see if you can find any activity. Subject. I'm seeing a, it's like a perception of a shadow of people. Very tall, thin. It's only a shadow. It's as if they were there and they're not, not there anymore. Go back to a period of time where they are there. Um, hmm. It's like I get a lot of static on a line and everything. It's, it's breaking up all the time. They're very fragmentic, very fragmentary pieces. Just report the raw data. Don't try and put things together. Just report the raw data. I just keep seeing very large people. They appear thin and tall, but they're very large. We're in some kind of strange clothes. All right. Now, holding in this time period, holding in this time period, I want to move from your physical location in space to another physical location. But in this time period, move now to 46, 45 north. 353 22 east. Move in this time. Subject. Deep inside of a cavern. Not a cavern, more like a canyon. Um, I'm looking up. Up the sides of a steep wall that seemed to go on forever. And they're like, uh, a structure? With, uh, it's like the wall of the canyon itself, and it's been carved. Again, I'm getting a very large structures. No, hmm, uh, no. Intricacies. Huge sections of smooth stone. Do the structures have insides and outsides? Yes. They're very, it's like a rabbit worn. Corners of rooms, they're really huge. I don't feel like I'm standing in one. It's just really huge. Perception is that the ceiling is very high. The walls are very wide. Real time plus 22 minutes. Director. Yes, that would be correct. All right. I'd like to move now to another location nearby. All right. Move from this point in time to 4586 North 3541. One. East. I'm going to take a time out for a minute here, you guys. Let's jump back to what the director just said to the subject remote viewing Mars a million years ago after describing structures, designs, megaliths, huge people. The director says, yes, that would be correct. He acknowledged what this guy was seeing and said he was right. I find that fascinating. So now we're going to move back to the project. Here's the subject. After he moved to a different location. They have a, a appears to be the end of a very large road. And there's a marker thing that's very large. Keep getting Washington Monument overlay. It's like an obelisk. All right. From this point, then, let us move to another point. Move now to 
26 North, 213 24 East. It's like I'm in the middle of a huge circular basin of the range mountains by almost all the way around. Very ragged, ragged mountains, very tall. Basin's very, very, very large. Scale seems to be off or something. It's just really big. Everything's big. I understand the problem. Just continue. See, just a right angle corner or something, but that's all. I don't see anything else. Okay, then let's move into a little different place very close. Move from the point you are now in this time to 34.6 north to 13.09 east. The cluster of squares up and down. Um, it's like you want to make them square anyway. They're almost flush with the ground, and it's like they're connected. Something very white or reflects light. What's your position of observation as you look at this thing that reflects light? I'm amid a oblique, left angle. Sun is uh, sun is weird. Look back down at the ground now, and we are going to move just a little bit from this place, just a little bit from this place. Thirty-four point five seven north to one twelve two two east. Move over now. It's like I can just perceive uh, um, like a radiating pattern of some kind. It's like some really strange, interesting kind of roads that are dug into valleys, you know, where a road is just a little below the edge. Tell me about the shapes of these things. They're like really neat channels cut. They're very deep. It's like the road went down. Okay, now I have, I notice electrically you are nulled out a little bit and I want you to stay deep and recapture your focus here. It's really tough. It's, it seems like it's just always very sporadic. I realize that. It's very important that you maintain your focus. I have a movement exercise again for you, and this is more considerable distance away. So holding the focus in time, remember the focus in time that you had before, and moving now to 15 degrees north, 198 degrees east. Take some time and get back deep. See the, um, the interesting, uh, whatever these are, are adequate type things, these rounded bottom carved channels, like roadbeds, see, uh, see pointed tops of something on the horizon. Even the horizon looks funny and weird. It's like a different misty, like it's really far away, very vague. Okay. Another movement now to 80 degrees south, 64 degrees east. See pyramids. Can't tell if it's overlay or not because they are different. Okay. Do these pyramids have insides and outsides? Mm-hmm. Got both. And they're huge. It's really, uh, it's, it's an interesting perception I'm getting. I think that he's losing his ability to move accurately, but he is attracted to things that are interesting, so we're going to go with his own, we are going to let him go ahead and explore what seems to be interesting to him rather than move on the targets indicated here. It's filtered from storms or something. Say that again. They're like shelters from storms. These are structures you're seeing? Yeah. They're designed for that. All right. Go inside one of these and find some activity to tell me about. Plus 37 minutes real time. Different chambers, but they're almost stripped of any kind of furnishings or anything. 
It's like a uh, strictly functional place for sleeping. But that's not a good word. Hibernations? Some form? I can't, I can't get a real raw input. Storms, savage storms, and sleeping through storms. Tell me about the ones who sleep through the storms. Uh, very tall. Again, very large people, but they're thin. They look thin because of their height, and they dress like in, oh, hell. It's like a real light silk, but it's not flowing type of clothing. It's like cut to fit. Move close to one of them and ask them to tell you about themselves. They are ancient people. They are, uh, they're, they're dying. It's past their time or age. Tell me about this. They are very philosophical about it. They are looking for mm, a way to survive, and they just can't. Plus 40 minutes to find voltage reversal. Can't seem to get their way out. They can't seem to find their way out. So they're hanging on while they look or wait for something to return. Or something coming with the answer. What is it they are waiting for? There uh, evidently was a, a group or a party or, or a party of them that went to find a new place to live or something. It's like I'm getting all kinds of overwhelming input of the corruption of their environment. It's failing very rapidly, and this ground went somewhere like a long way to find... Or this group went somewhere like a long way to find another place to live. What was the cause of the atmospheric disturbance or the environment disturbance? I see a picture of a picture of like, oh hell, it's almost a warp in. Oh God, this is difficult. It's like going, let's see. The raw data. Oh, I get a globe. Uh, it's like a globe that goes through a comet tail or it's through a river or something, but it's all very cosmic. It's like space pictures. All right. Now, before you leave this individual, ask him if there is any way that you ask him if he knows who you are and is there any way you can help him in his present predicament. All I get is that they must just wait. Doesn't know who I am. Think he perceives I'm a hallucination or something. Okay. When the others left, these people are waiting. When the others left, how did they go? Uh, I get an impression of, uh, I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like the inside of a larger boat. Very rounded walls and shiny metal. Go along with them on their journey and find out where it is they go. Impression of a really crazy place with volcanoes and gas pockets and strange plants. Very volatile place. It's very much like going from the frying pan into the fire. Difference is there seems to be a lot of vegetation where the other place did not have it. And different kind of storm. All right, it's time to come back now to the sound of my voice in the present time to right now, the 22nd of May, 1984. The sound of my voice move now back to the room, back to the sound of my voice, back further now to the sound of my voice on the 22nd of May, 1984. End of interview. Wow, I mean... That's incredible, and it makes me realize how powerful remote viewing really is. I've interviewed Courtney Brown at least a half dozen times, Daz Smith, Dick Allgaier, Lynn Buchanan. These people have some incredible abilities with their mind. They're almost like Jedis of the mind, because if you think about everything the way that it's put together, 
with quantum physics all being connected at some quantum point. In essence, some people feel that there's just one finite point that bounces around so fast that you could call it protons, electrons, neutrons, and the building blocks of life. There's so many different theories and possibilities. But one thing that I do feel is confirmed is that everything out there is in here, and everything in here is out there. And with our minds, we have the opportunities to tap into anything with enough practice and enough will. So what I'm looking at right now, remember when he was talking about the the different structures and what he was seeing? Well, what you're looking at here on the left, this is actually a specific image that was taken from the, the Mars Surveyor. It's a high-resolution image. And some people speculate that these tubes are some type of like glass tubes or old structured tubes. Some people say they're just lava tubes. And if it was just this right here, the tube itself, and you can see it on the left. I'm sorry that my cursor doesn't overlay with it when I talk to you about this. But if it was just this specifically, I wouldn't think a whole lot about it. But when you start to look at the rest of this image, you're going to see more of what looks like these possible tubes. Well, I mean, they're definitely tubes. What could be structured, you know, old civilization. But here's where it gets really good. See that on the left there? Okay, here's where it gets really good. Now, you see these two craters at about the, let's say, 3 o'clock position right there. It looks like there was some type of Photoshopping done because it looks like there is some type of dome, almost like greenhouses inside of these, built like a greenhouse with a tetrahedron truss technology where they use octagon panels and multiple panels, putting it together, making them very solid and sound. Uh, you know, many greenhouses use that type of technology. So, and this isn't even the best part right here. This is going to get really good here in a minute. Here's more of these tubes. Look at that right there in the center. Boom. What in the heck is an enormous dome doing in a, doing in the center of a crater? And if you zoom in on that, let's see if we can zoom in on this more. It looks like a ginormous golf ball. Look at the detail on that. Look at the texture. That looks like some type of tetrahedron truss technology. That looks like a giant dome. Well, the uh, Courtney Brown of the Farsight Institute did a remote viewing session on a specific image that I'm going to share with you here in a second also that looks like some type of steam or liquid being emitted from an enormous building. And that makes me think of the film Total Recall, the first Total Recall film that came out in 1990 with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where the planet Mars has this million-year-old structure, a million-year-old Martian structure that many humans used to work in until they found alien technology, and then they got kicked out. Remember the scene? on the train when Arnold's talking to an old miner about it and there's the picture of the pyramid in the background. I'll show you that here in a minute. They go back a million years ago. They use that term a million years ago in the film. Well, this remote viewing session in 1984 was done a million years ago. This is another connection that I might have just put together. They do this remote viewing session in 1984. They find structures, intelligence, pyramids, buildings on Mars, plus obviously the Viking orbiter the Viking satellite from 1976 found incredible structures on Mars. Now we'll jump to 1984. They do these remote viewing sessions, declassified, which I just read to you, one of the sessions where this person found tubes and roads and structures and beans. Now we're looking at what could be an enormous structure inside of a crater built like a dome. And then if you go, let's, let's move this over here. Let's go to this image now. I'm going to scoot this one over. Now, the credit for this is on. The, if you want to go to this website, it's available at flybynews.files.wordpress.com. And I like the way this person broke things down. Now, you see the face. 
And there's been images that try to debunk the face and say the newer, higher resolution images, it doesn't look like a face. And I get it. And they do, they do different filtering and stuff and Photoshop with that as well. Uh, this one's a lot less manipulated. And if you look at the alignment of many of these structures in this image, if you come over here to the left, and it's called the rectangular mesa, see all these what looks like pyramids? I mean, look at the straight lines. You can see these are very straight lines. These look like pyramids, like ancient pyramids. And look at where they're located. They all have specific positions and alignments. So it's like everything in this image, all of these old structures or you know what somebody could say is just geographic anomalies, have particular positions and it's based on sacred geometry and this looks like a carbon copy of a lot of the stuff in Egypt and you know how that person was saying he, he kept seeing the obelisk and pyramids and he was getting overlays well look at Washington DC look at the way many of these cities and specific structures are built on particular ley lines of the planet this is ancient technology this could go back more than a million years if you watch the film Total Recall, the original, you were going to get a whole new perspective of Mars after watching that film, especially after this conversation. So here's the picture that I was referring to. Just go to Google and type in Total Recall Pyramid on Mars. And there's that scene where, where Arnold's talking to the, old, to the miner. And there's the pyramid in the background, the million-year-old pyramid. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us to another image, which is available. This is the Mars Surveyor. This is a high-resolution image, and this is also remote viewed by Courtney Brown of the Farsight Institute. They were able to remote view inside of it. They found people that didn't know how the technology worked, according to the report. Um, very fascinating. I'd recommend watching that report on the Farsight Institute if you haven't seen it already. It might even be available for free. But you'll see here on the bottom, it looks like almost like a, you know, it's a building or a structure of some sort. There's all these lines around it and details. And then above that, you're going to see almost what looks like a large tube or a hose and then some spray and some mist that goes out. Now look at the 11 o'clock position to get an idea of what I'm talking about here. And what they found was nothing short of extraordinary. And it reminded me, after I talked to Courtney about this a few years ago and this, this reading that they did and the sessions and the remote viewing sessions that they did, what they saw and what was put together on the, the whiteboards, it reminded me of that film, Total Recall. Hands down, Total Recall, 1990. So, declassified CIA documents show they've been remote viewing Mars and there's structures on Mars. Total Recall comes out and basically... How do I put this? Total Recall comes out six years later and essentially exposes in the media, in the entertainment industry, what's on Mars. And hopefully within the next 10 years, we're going to start sending people out there and recolonize it. If you know, I mean, there's a lot of speculation that people have already recolonized it. I don't know. But hopefully this will be public knowledge and people that want to go out there will have an opportunity to be like the pioneers of a new planet opportunity. I think that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to share this information with you and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord, also leakproject.com. Make sure to sub, uh, support our sponsors, get the t.com, one tac, tactical gear, noble gold investments. Thank you for everything and your support. Question everything, be the change you want to see.